is Eureka Math, fifth grade, module four, lesson 13. Our objective today is to multiply unit fractions by unit fractions, which would look like something like this. Three, well, let me, let's go, let's go even smaller, which would be something like one third times one fourth. Now, up until now, we've been multiplying fractions times whole numbers, okay? And that was pretty easy. We knew that one-third times two was one-third plus one-third, which equals two-thirds, right? So one-third times two also equals two-thirds. But today we're going to multiply fractions by fractions. So let's go right into it. Go to your learn book, please, and write your name on your paper. Let's start with number one. Solve, draw a rectangular fraction model. Do you remember our fraction models? Uh, to show your thinking. Then write a multiplication sentence. The first one has done, been done for you. Okay, so this square is one whole. Okay, so it's, it's a whole square. So it's one times one, and our area equals one, right? So one whole square. Now they've, they're cutting it up. A pan, uh, half a pan of one quarter, I'm sorry, half of one quarter pan of brownies equals one eighth pan of brownies. Okay, so let's take this. First is one fourth of a pan. So here is one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. Okay, all of these are one fourth. one-fourth of our whole, okay? And half of that one-fourth would be right here, this section. That is half of one-fourth, half of one-fourth. But we're going to take the line all the way across, and I'm going to show you why. Because I want you to realize that half of one-fourth is one out of eight. One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this section right here is one eighth of the whole. Half of one fourth of a pan of brownies, okay? One fourth pan, I, that sounds weird to me, but. Okay, so half, you know, is written like this, one half. Of, you know that of means multiply. One fourth, okay, of, a, of the pan, of the whole, equals one eighth. Do you see how we did that? We're going to practice it some more. Let's do uh, letter B. Okay, half of one third pan of brownies. Okay, so here's my pan of brownies. Here's my whole, my whole pan but it's going to have me cut it into thirds. So one, two, three. So this is a third, and this is a third, and this is a third. Now half of one third, which would be that, okay, that's this section right here. That's half of one third, so that's one half. But I'm going to cut that line all the way across so that I can see that that actually equals one, two, three, four, five, six. It's one out of six, okay? Equals one sixth of the whole pan. I hope you see what I'm seeing here, okay? So here's my one sixth, one out of six, right? And if I wanna write that as, a, as an equation, I'm going to write, or an expression, one half, times one-third equals one-sixth of the pan of brownies. Okay, next one. One-fourth of one-third of a pan of brownies. Okay, so here's my pan of brownies. And it's telling me to cut it into thirds. So one, two, three. Okay, here's my third, and a third, and a third. One-fourth of one-third that would mean that I need to cut this into four. So here's one fourth, but I'm going to bring the lines all the way across. 
So one-fourth of one-third is this section right here. And what does that equal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 altogether. It's 1 out of 12. 1 twelfth. Okay? So 1 fourth, right? A fourth of, means multiply, 1 third equals 1 twelfth. And I want you to show this fraction model in every single problem. Okay, so now they've, they've taken out the story and they've just given us a problem. One-fourth of one-fourth. So we're going to draw a hole. And I'm going to cut it into fourths. One, two, three, four. Now it's saying one-fourth of one-fourth. So I need to cut it in fourths this way. So now I have one-fourth of one-fourth. It's just this section right here. One-fourth, because there's one, two, three, four, inside one-fourth, one, two, three, four. Which would make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, which equals one-sixteenth. Okay, next one. One half of one sixth. Okay, I'm going to draw a hole. And it says one sixth. So I'm going to cut it into six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one sixth. And then one half of that. So there's cutting that in half, but I'm going to take a line all the way across. So one half of one sixth. Shade that in. Now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 equals 1 out of 12. I hope this is making sense. Okay, let's try number 2. Draw rectangular fraction models of 3 times 1 fourth and 1 third times 1 fourth. Okay. Compare, multiply a number by 3 and by 1 third. Okay. So, we've already done this, right? Do you remember? And we had three holes now, because there's three holes. One, two, three holes. Okay. And we're going to multiply each of those by 1 fourth. So... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now I have three holes times one fourth. So there's a fourth, there's a fourth, and there's a fourth. Okay? So how, how much do I have left? I have one, two, three fourths colored in. Now let's try it one third times one fourth. So I'm going to start with a hole and I'm going to cut it into fourths. One. You know what? I'm going to cut it the other way just so that it looks similar. Okay, so I'm going to cut it into thirds here. One, two, three. Doesn't matter which one is vertical and which one is horizontal. Remember in multiplication, you can flip it back and forth. So here's my one third. I cut it into thirds. One, two, three. And now I'm going to cut that into fourths. So here, here, and here. So one third of one fourth is this. Okay? And that equals one third times one fourth equals 1 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? These are very different. This is multiplying by a whole number, and this is multiplying by a fraction. Okay? Because when we multiply by a fraction, we stay inside the whole. And here we have three holes. Number two. One half of uh, Isla's workspace is covered in paper. One third of the paper is covered in yellow sticky notes. What fraction of Isla's workspace is covered in yellow sticky notes? So we're going to draw a picture. So 
here's her workspace, right? And that's one hole. She has one workspace, so that's one okay, right there. And it says that half of her workspace is covered in paper. So this is the paper half. And this is probably a computer or a plant or a picture of her mom, right? And this is the other side. Now it says one third of the paper, so the paper side, is covered in yellow sticky notes. So we're going to divide that into thirds. So here's one half, right? And here's one third. And that is the amount that's covered in sticky notes. But remember, these horizontal lines need to go all the way across. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, which equals one sixth. Now, let's look at this as a fraction, okay, or as an equation. What fraction of Isla's workspace is covered in yellow sticky notes? Well, we've, we've established that it's one sixth. But let's try to um, write this as a, as a problem, okay? So we've got one third of the paper, one third of, so one third of, but the paper is only half. So it's one third of one half equals one sixth sticky notes. Okay, number four. A marching band is rehearsing in a rectangular formation. All right, well, there's one marching band, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw one marching band. One fifth of the marching band members play percussion instruments. Okay, so one fifth. I was in the marching band, I really liked it. So here's my one fifth. I know that they aren't completely even, but let's assume they are. One fifth. And that's percussion, that's the drums and cymbals, snare drum, bass drum. One half of the percussionists play the snare drum. That's the round one, it's like, oh, like this, okay? So if half of the percussionists play the snare drum, that's one half, but this line has to go all the way across. So there's, those are the snare drum players. What fraction of the band members play the snare drum? So this is the fraction. Let's figure out what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's one out of ten. Okay? So if I were to write that as, a, as an equation, one-fifth of the marching band, so one-fifth of one-half. Or it might make more sense to you if we said that half of the one-fifth, because it's half of one-fifth. Although in multiplication, you can flip it back and forth, but it's half of the percussion section, and the percussion section is one-fifth of the band equals one-tenth snare drums. Number five. Marie is designing a bedspread for her grandson's new bedroom. Two-thirds of the bedspread is covered in race cars, and the rest is striped. She must be a, a seamstress, a modista. She must be making a quilt. Okay. One one, Two-thirds of the bedspread is covered in race cars, and the rest is striped. One-fourth of the stripes are red. What fraction of this bedspread is covered in red stripes? Now, if you like sewing, I like sewing, and you want to start learning how to quilt, you're going to have to know how to use fractions because quilters use fractions all the time. Have you ever seen those beautiful quilts with all the different colors? Okay, so when we get into geometry, we'll, we'll practice some of that. Marie is designing a bedspread for her grandson's new bedroom. So here's the bedspread. Two-thirds of the bedspread is covered in race cars. So here's one, there's two. So this is two-thirds of it is covered in race cars. And the rest is striped. So this must be the striped part. Okay, so here's race cars. And here are stripes. One 
fourth of the stripes, okay, now be careful, one fourth of the stripes, so here are the race cars, two thirds, and here are the stripes, one fourth of the stripes are red, so here's one, two, three fourths, so this is, if this is two thirds, this is one third, and one fourth would be that, right? Okay. What fraction of the bedspread is covered in red stripes? So they're asking for this right here. Okay. So let's figure that out. How much would that be? Well, I need to make these lines go all the way across for my model. And now I can count how many spaces I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And there's just one of those that I've colored in for the red stripes equals 1 12th stripes, red stripes. Okay. So that would be right here 1 4th of one third, okay, one fourth of the stripes, which was one third of the of the quilt, equals one twelfth red stripes, okay. And when you see of, that also means multiply. Good. Okay, so please go to your exit ticket. Let's read it together. Solve the problem. Draw a rectangular fraction model and write a number sentence to show your thinking. So just like we've been doing, write a whole, draw a whole rectangular fraction model, okay? And write a number sentence to show your thinking. There's two parts there. So we need the, the equation and the model. Okay, and then of course show the answer. One third times one third. Excellent. Okay, after you finish that, go back and finish your homework. Lesson 13 homework right here. Good. I think that'll be great. And if you have any questions, ask me tomorrow at school. Great. Have a good day.